Hello boys and girls. Hang on, something doesn't seem right. That's better. Let's try that again. Hello boys and girls and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to level up your sex appeal to max. First you need to learn how to complete Maelstrom Arena. Secondly, you need to learn how to swim because you're going to be drowning in so much pussy. So let's get into it. Well there you go boys and girls, there's my new intro. Also I just want to point out that I am aware how feminine my emblem looks. But I just want to make it known that it is meant to be my character. I'm just not that great at drawing, especially on a computer. Anyway as I said earlier, today I'm going to be teaching you how to pick up chicks through Elder Scrolls Online. And the only way to do that is by beating Maelstrom Arena on Veteran. I've been working day and night to find the easiest class and build in order to achieve this goal and today I found it. The easiest build out there built solely to complete Veteran Maelstrom Arena with nearly 50,000 magicka and a fuck ton of DPS. I present to you the Sex Bomb. Okay, so in case you couldn't tell from the piece of text on the screen, this is the part of the video where I go through what I'm using. So I'm using the Thief Boon and I'm also a Vampire. It's very optional because Vampire makes you look ugly. I'm using a Max Health and Max Magic of Food. I'm eating the Solitude Salmon Millet Soup because it tastes fucking lovely. And I'm on a diet because I ate too much Jubilee Cake and Miserable Pie. Okay, so I'm running two Sharpened Inferno Staffs. And ideally, what you want is Moon Dancer. Unfortunately, I don't have the luck to get Sharpened Moon Dancer staffs dropped for me, so I've just got two random Sharpened Inferno staffs, which work just fine. So I'm running two piece of Lambris because it's overpowered as fuck for sorcerers. Then I'm running five piece Necropotence, which you can either farm for or buy it from the guild traders, but it can be quite pricey if you can find someone to give you a special deal on it, if you know what I mean cheeky little hand job kind of thing then that's definitely worth it because it's a bitch to farm we're also using three piece moon dancer on the jewelry preferably four if you get the staffs now i'm just going to put it out there now i don't know what this build's going to be like after the patch i mean they're only really nerfing the sustain on sorcerers so this could still be a viable build but if you want to beat veteran maelstrom arena i would suggest doing it before this update otherwise you may find it a little bit too difficult anyway let's get into the motherfucking skills Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you the skills. So on the front bar, we've got Hardened Ward, which is your only form of defense. Next on the list, we've got the main spammable, which is Force Pulse, which you're just going to spam the fuck out of. Then when you see your hands glow a purpley color, chuck a rock at their face and do a fuck ton of damage. Next on this bar, you're going to summon your old friend called Volatile Familiar. Now as much of a pussy as he sounds, he actually deals a lot of damage. Next on the list, we've got Inner Light, now the reason we've got that is just for a bit more max magicka and damage. Then we've got Fiery Rage as the ultimate on this bar. The reason for that is because it literally melts people's health bars. On the back bar we've got Power Surge for more damage again and you can heal yourself with it. What more can you want? We've got Blockade because it melts people. Liquid Lightning because it does the same thing but with lightning. And then Volatile Familiar so you don't have to keep summoning him in. And then we've got Daedric Prey, which basically gives your little buddy over there a, a damage increase. Plus it does damage of its own. What more could you ask for? And then the ultimate on this bar is Fiery Fuckfest as well. It's the Destro ultimate, for those of you who are unaware what Fiery Fuckfest meant. Okay, so next I'm going to show you me running VMA. But Stan, you're shit. No, I'm not Tyrone. Fuck off. Get out of my video. Okay, it's time to teleport to Maelstrom Arena. Hopefully if you're watching this video you already know where it is. Just in case you don't, it's the most northern point of Hrothgar. Okay, I'm ready. Let's armour up and get my pet out. Let's fucking go. Come on, 
volatile, in familiar, whatever your fucking name is. Let's go. Fuck off, you two. Get out of my way. I'm coming to do Maelstrom Arena. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm on the final stage of Maelstrom Arena. Uh, we're about to find out here. Hang on a minute. It's reset me. What difficulty am I on? Fuck. I'm <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to reset this. Gonna have to teleport out. Fucking hell, 863 coins. I'm not made of money. Fucking extortionate rates. Teleporting's expensive, man. Right, here we go again. Take two. Fucking out of my way, you two. I'm gonna smash Maelstrom Arena. Fucking let's do this. With this build, I can't lose. Fuck. Okay, so I would like to point out that even though this is one of the easiest builds to do Maelstrom Arena with, it doesn't mean it's going to make you fucking good at the game. I'll be honest with you, I'm still stuck on this final boss. But, this build did get me this far in Maelstrom Arena. I always used to get stuck on that fucking ice one with the troll. You know, if I can do it, then anyone can. And on that note, guys, if you liked the video, then leave a like. If you didn't like the video, then leave a like. And you should just leave a like regardless, because if you don't, I'll murder you and your family. And if you enjoyed this video, or it helped you at all, then subscribe, because I'm going to do more, whether you like it or not. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!